Today, I'll be talking about the top five worst MCU movies. Stick around. DJ Lynx is in the building. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DJ Lynx, back in the building, back in effect, and back Lynx. with another video. And today, I'll be talking about the top five Cinco worst MCU movies so far. I was going to say of all time, but we're going to hit you with the so far because the quality has been... So here it is, the top five movies that I think, me, just me, my thoughts, that are the worst MCU movies. Now, this is just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. This is not fact. These are just my opinions. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number five. At number five, we have Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And I know this is a controversial pick, but let me tell you why it's here. The entire movie, to me, hinges on the death of Chadwick Boseman. His untimely death was extremely tragic, no doubt. And I feel that the movie hit all the emotional beats because it was true. While the characters in the movie mourned T'Challa, we, the audience, were mourning Chadwick Boseman. So it blended that line between fiction and reality. Now, for argument's sake, let's say Chadwick Boseman didn't pass on and instead his contract expired and he left the MCU and they decided to kill off Black Panther and they present that same exact Black Panther Wakanda Forever film. How would you feel about it now? Granted, the movie isn't all that bad. I like what they did with Namor and I feel Angela Bassett was robbed of an Oscar, but overall the movie has so much working against it. That's why it made it to this list. Number Number four. Thor The Dark World, the OG shittiest MCU movie. Prior to phase four, Thor The Dark World was universally looked at as the worst of the worst. Not anymore though. Thank you phase four and five. Thor The Dark World is just bland as f Terrible villain, terrible color palette. Yo, I'm having a hard time even remembering this movie and I just rewatched it for this video. Not a good sign. Number three. At number three, we have Black Widow, and this movie is completely useless. It dropped after Avengers Infinity War, so with that said, all of the stakes were completely removed from this film. It just doesn't matter. Granted, we were introduced to Yelena Belova, who was pretty cool, and the Red Guardian, who was pretty funny, but it didn't matter. I think they missed a big opportunity not setting this movie in Budapest. You know, the thing that she and Hawkeye always joked about? That would have been dope. And oh yeah, we can't forget Taskmaster, or should I say... Trash Master. Number two. At number two, we have the Marvels, and the Marvels is bad. Really, really bad. Like, bad. But at least it's entertaining on some level. As I was watching this in the theater, I sat there smiling like, I can't believe how bad this is. The one real bright spot in the movie is Aman Vellani, the actress that plays Kamala Khan. She's adorable and steals every scene that she's in. Other than that, you have probably the worst villain in MCU history with Dar Ben, aka she -Ronin. Your main star, Captain Marvel, is unlikable as f and Monica Rambeau was just there. I'll go out on the limb and say that the creative team behind the Marvels have never collectively read a comic book in their entire life. Number one. And at number one, we have Thor Love and Thunder. This is the only MCU movie that I actually hate. I despise this piece of trash. It's insulting to moviegoers and comic book fans alike. This shit is as bottom of the barrel as you can get. I hate this f movie. For one, and I'm getting mad just talking about this movie, there's too many corny ass jokes. Every scene is literally ruined by a one-liner or a stupid ass joke. Number two, the CGI in some pieces of this movie, horrible. How the hell is this like a $200 million budget movie and you're giving us that level of CGI? And they waste not only a potentially dope ass villain in Gore the God Butcher, they actually waste Jane Foster's story, which is an easy emotional hook a character dealing with cancer and you squander that yo legit from the bottom of my heart this movie and those are the five movies that i think are the worst mcu movies so far let me know what you think about this list down in the comments below let me know what you think about this movie content that i'm trying to incorporate into the channel i love movies as well as comic books and i want to share that passion with you and that's going to do it for me ladies and gentlemen as always subscribe like hit that notification bell share this video tell your friends about me consider joining the link squad and as always most importantly spread love because it's the brooklyn way peace